a lot of times it would be like, you know, I'm just really sad. You know, I wish mommy and daddy were in the same house. Kelly Clarkson is opening up about how her children have processed her divorce from Brandon Blackstock. The voice coach shed light on her life post-split in a candid interview on the Angie Martinez IRL podcast on Wednesday. She told Angie that one of her rituals is to check in with her eight-year-old daughter, River Rose, and six-year-old son, Remington, each night before they go to sleep. I literally ask my kids every night when we're snuggling and I put in bed, I'm like, are you happy? Mm. And like, if you're not, like, what That's could make so you happier? Sweet. Kelly said that her kids are open with her about if they're happy or not. Do they always say yes? No, like sometimes they'll say, especially the like past two years, like a lot of it and it kills me, but they'll, and I want them to be honest. So I, do, I don't ever say, oh God, don't tell me that, you know? Um, but a lot of times it would be like, you know, I'm just really sad. You know, I wish mommy and daddy were in the same house. I wish, mm. and they're really honest about it. And that's, and I'm raising that kind of individual. I want you to be honest with me. The talk show host said that when they say they're sad, she empathizes with them. I just sit there and I'm like, yeah, I get it. I'm mm. from a divorced family as well. I get it. That's mm. That sucks, you know, but we're going to work it out. And you are so loved by both of us. And I go through this conversation and I think, I think communicating with them and not treating them, you know, not, not treating them like an adult because they're not, but not treating them like a child that they're, they're, you know, they're not small feelings. Those are huge feelings. And those are huge emotions. Mm. Kelly filed for divorce from Brandon in 2020 after more than six years of marriage and their divorce was finalized last year. The piece by piece singer's experiences have served as inspiration for her upcoming album. She recently told Access Daily's Mario Lopez and Kit Hoover that the upcoming LP will be her most personal one yet. There is heartbreak in it and there is sadness in it, definitely, but there's also like the whole arc of a relationship. So I think I just had to, cause I've run into both of you at my show, like coming on in commercial breaks, like been honest about things and it's like, it just took a minute. I think you can't, I had to be, get through it yeah, to even talk it, about sure. it. Yeah. So I don't break down in an interview and cry about it. Why <laughs> now was it right to release the album, the new music? Um, for me, emotionally, like it just, it, I, it's so funny cause people literally in the beginning were like, it's going to take like a couple years, like to, to climb out, you know, yeah. and it, yeah. and it, ev everything. And I cried so hard when I heard that. Cause I was like, what? Ugh. Like, that's a long time. Yeah. Right. Like, and it did. It took it took a, a couple years just to to still understand what happened, like what you know what I'm saying, sure. like how it broke. Because you know you don't want it your relationships. Like it's like you you try so hard and you want it to work and you try you know and it sometimes it just doesn't sure. and it can't and it just doesn't align right. and it and letting go of that took a, a long time. You said now some chance. is um, mm. is dating even on the radar right now? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no. My therapist is funny. <laughs> I was literally like, you should go on a date. And I'm like. I I really I I'm not I sound like such a cliche but I'm really enjoying like me I'm enjoying I think like, that's so important because so many women are they so they, you, they do they bounce and they go it's like I call it the monkey yeah. syndrome they don't let go of this guy until they're ready to get this no, guy. Men do that. Guys, like, like, guys do that my guy friends do that too and yeah. it's like it's I think that that, that might work for other people but sure. for me it that's doesn't. No, it's important that women yeah. take the time to come. And of, I right. am a single mom with two kids and two dogs and three rabbits and a it's yeah, like a yeah. whole thing right well, so hey, what? Like, hey, you're hey, enough as, as it is hey, to sit here. by the way when you are ready though i'm gonna get that arrow out because i'm a good uh, cupid yeah <laughs> i know i think it's true i think it's true too like i don't want to like say this for a certain because nobody you don't want to be that tool that says that but i also i don't i don't think marriage has to be for everyone i think that you can exist in a relationship and have a relationship with someone and and it can be what you want it to be i sure. think that you know, especially where I'm raised, like you're taught you're supposed to do A, B, C, D, whatever. And I'd, maybe that's not for everyone, and that's okay.